The Cinema, a place of stories where dreams are reality and magic occurs. From the classics to the new age, from black and white to color, the cinema has transcended time, bringing us all to a place where anything is possible. And this is accepting an award on Life TV for your hard work and dedication to your craft. So if you're unfamiliar with the topic, the Oscars pretty much selected four categories to go ahead and have their awards accepted during commercial break in this upcoming Oscars. And the Oscar goes to... Oh, the black of body wash is too powerful to let this commercial in! And that isn't really flying too well with some of the people in these categories. In an article by Variety, they talk about representatives actually volunteering their category to be one of the ones that doesn't get shown on live TV. But a lot of people are saying that those representatives, those board members, don't really speak for the actual people working. So that's a little bit suspicious. But this kind of makes me think, are there too many eyes on the Academy and on the Oscars? I mean, with social media now, everyone could get a live feed of any single event. Anyone could talk about it as it's happening. And it seems like every single year there's just something always going on or always wrong with the Oscars. There's just never a solid year where someone isn't upset about something. So is this just sort of another year for the Oscars with controversy and whatever because of just anything in Hollywood? Or is it actually something to be concerned about? It's just a weird move when you really think about it. Like, anyone who's watching the Oscars, pretty much, I think, or I would assume, knows what they're getting into. It's usually a long program, it's a live televised event, which means anything can happen. Sometimes there's a party, a lot of people, my family is one of them, like has a party for it, and we go ahead and talk about the topics, talk about who we think is gonna win, um, and then we watch it together. Some people put it on the background while they're doing other stuff, working on whatever. And then some people intently watch it and then go on their phone during commercial break or whatever. It's a really weird decision. I think that anyone who's tuning in to the Oscars more or less knows what the Oscars consist of. And one of the main reasons that the Academy is actually doing this and using for these, uh, for these presentations to be shown on a commercial break is to shorten the amount of time that they're actually there. They want to keep it to just about three hours of a program and I don't know that's weird to me because no matter what happens on this Oscar night it's definitely gonna be more interesting than anything that happened on the snooze bowl I mean Super Bowl overall though it's just another Oscars and I think that there's there's gonna be more and more down the road um, there's no sign of the Oscars slowing down I think I tend to feel more so for the first people first filmmakers who may actually be there so ones who just created a film and this is their first year ever getting a nomination or just their first year ever even being invited and they're not seasoned to this they're not a veteran to this this is their first time just making something that actually made it to the Oscars and that's such a big accomplishment and a big achievement still for a lot of creators and a lot of filmmakers and they're sort of getting the and they're sorting of, they're sort of getting like the short end of this um, you know, it may, it may not be as important to others who are more seasoned, um, have been around longer, maybe won a few Oscars already, but for the first time, you know, being there and sort of getting this, I think that kind of sucks. It's a weird thing, especially when you think about cinematography and editing. I, it's weird to say that you're going to cut out any topic or any category in the first place, but let alone cinematography and editing, when you think about movies when you think about film things that have honestly been there since the dawn of it since the beginning of it is literally cinematography and then editing writing directing acting all those things came after it's been done in black and white it's been done in color it's been done with music it's been done without music it's been done with sound it's been done without sound but since the first day since the first day of film you needed a cinematographer you needed someone with a camera and it had to be edited to some extent so those are honestly the first two things that um are really sort of like the cornerstone 
of filmmaking. So it'll be interesting to see all in all. It's just another Oscars, but once again, I feel sorry more so for the people who have been there, this being their first year. I'm gonna go ahead and have to wait and see what happens. But once again, my name is Josue, and I live in Chicago, the greatest city in the world. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.